we decided came up with the to innovative idea to build a lip bar mobile. So a what? Oh, oh, that is such a bad idea. Sometimes rejection is a disguised gift. The chances that this is a business are practically zero. The sharks telling me no was one of the best things that ever happened to me. A present entrepreneur Melissa Butler is still unwrapping. Yeah, we went on Shark Tank in maybe 2014, 2015, and they were massively cruel. They were just like, you'll never make it. You'll never get market share. And she's laughing <laughs> all the way to the bank. I'm the founder and CEO of The Lip Bar. Now we're worth about $7 million in growing. You can find The Lip Bar in about 500 Target stores on thelipbar.com, on Amazon. You can find her bold lipsticks on Target shelves nationwide. The Lip Bar is a vegan, cruelty-free cosmetic company that does more than transform your face. Since day one, we've always created diverse imagery just to say, hey, beauty isn't linear. It doesn't look like one thing. And Wednesday night, Butler will be part of a conversation encouraging Minnesota entrepreneurs. Yeah, I worked on Wall Street. I was like a numbers girl, but I started the company because I was so very frustrated with the beauty industry. The 32-year-old will share how she's challenged beauty standards while creating a more inclusive beauty narrative, a validation that came when someone said no. If, if anybody thought you could sell purple or green lipstick, they do it. They already have the shelf space. They just add another color and they would crush you like the colorful cockroaches you are. So they didn't know what it was like to be on the other side of the table. They only knew what it was like to be in a position of power. They didn't understand that there was an entire underserved community. And the conversation sponsored by the Activate Network is also helping an underserved community. Camille Thomas is the founder. There's this big entrepreneurial boom happening in this area and it's not always including um, people of color and definitely not women of color more specifically. We feel that she is gonna be just the inspiration that the women in the Twin Cities need. Butler, who started making lipstick in her kitchen, hopes to inspire others. So I'm gonna tell them to just get started, to be open to fail, and more than anything, to keep going because they, they should believe in exactly what they're setting out to do. Take a no and make it a win. Reminds me of that Nike ad that came out last week, which if you haven't seen, check it out. A lot of women who were told they were crazy just kept going.